Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies, and we tangent. What's up, everyone? Hello. Did you just pull the hair off of your mouth. <laughs> There's a dog hair. Okay. It, fun fact: Ollie ripped that off today, and it was on the ground. Yeah. So click clack might have shed it on it. <laughs> he looks comatose right now. I know. We should really show more of click clack. I know. Um, now that we can. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys. What's up? Um. So, I have a story for you, and you have a story for me. I do. Um, I'd like to say, first of all, thank you to everyone. <laughs> We've gotten such a positive response about YouTube, and I'm like, oh, wow, why did we wait 70 episodes? That's what I keep thinking. I'm like, why did we wait so long? But also, it's fine. It, Anxiety. We waited. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. That's why. Because I watched it, first of all, Corey turned it on, and I was like... Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. He was mm -hmm. like, will you chill out? I was like, I don't want you. I just look stupid. I just hate everything about this. Well, I told you that when I... Okay, so the audio that you guys hear with this is not coming from the camera. It's coming from the mics into the laptop. It doesn't matter. Um, And I went to sync it up. Oh, we didn't clap. <gasps> Shh. <laughs> I went to sync it up. And, um, yeah, it like the audio jumped, and so then it didn't match up. And I was like, Great, we have to throw this away, we have to scrap it, cancel, oh. cancel the launch, <laughs> re record it. But nobody knew at least, no, so if, no, no, no. If we but did. now I told you, so if you go back and look, <laughs> it's just like the easiest bit I off. didn't notice at all. And I watched Is it. Is that because you were times. watching like this? I know, I <laughs> watched it three times. Every time I would make like a one movement, I'm like, There's my chin again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Call it out. That'll help oh. people not look for it. <laughs> Please don't notice my chin. <laughs> <laughs> I just record like this the oh. whole time. Also, if you're here from TikTok. What's up? What up? <laughs> so weird, but also so cool that yeah. we got on TikTok and I feel like an old woman on there. Yes. I've been on TikTok. You guys know this. The ones that have listened. I've right. been on TikTok just like. Like quietly in the shadows, you know what I right. mean? And sometimes commenting. Just secret liking everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I'm like, uh, I'll comment on one or two things. One time my comment got 22,000 likes and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I felt like famous. Wow. So the fact that we got like a couple thousand likes on some <laughs> don't of talk our videos. To me today. Yeah. I don't think you know who I am. I told Corey. He's like, what is with you today? You are like on another level. I'm like, my TikTok you, comment You is didn't see? Yeah, like, <laughs> excuse me, peasant. Twenty-two thousand people <laughs> liked what I had to say <laughs> about someone else's video, <laughs> about someone else's art. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't so. even a good. It wasn't even a good comp. I literally just like, it was. You know what? <laughs> now I'm second guessing. You guys, <laughs> you guys have all seen it already, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, they know. They've been on there, <laughs> but it is so cool that like we have now introduced ourselves essentially to mm -hmm. an entirely new group of people my favorite comment so far is uh, a comment that says y'all sound like the type of vibe my mom would listen to or something like that <laughs> yeah. and honestly thank you yeah and number one tell your mom to like get a hold of us <laughs> just you yeah, want to hang out <laughs> we're moms i was gonna say when i when he said it i think it's a he yeah i was immediately like moms and then i was like we are moms <laughs> why am i like oh my god your mom wants to hang out with us like we're moms honestly i've always wanted to hang out with people's moms yeah. so even child me was like hell yeah i love moms i feel like we were both kind of like that like at sleepovers yeah. we were the people that were like what's up mrs whatever so what are we gonna do about shannon <laughs> yeah. she's really gone off the rails <laughs> um, but my story for you oh please uh did i tell you i bought a vacuum i saw it did the, I tell you? The Bissell? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys. TikTok introduced us to the, you have it. Tinico. The, yeah. And is that's it Tinico or Tinico? I called it Dinico, <laughs> which is from Cars. <laughs> I say Tinico. I don't know what it is. But that's what they sent on TikTok, so that's oh, what I said. Okay. Anyway, I wanted it because I knew it was the Bissell Crosswave, like, but cheaper. That shit sold out so fast. Well, I think I got, was, like, the last one. It was available around Christmas, mm -hmm. and then we couldn't get it. Go and on. so after Christmas, it came back live again, mm -hmm. and Shane put it in our cart, and he's like, oh, I'm just going to browse around a little bit, see if I can find anything else. <laughs> and immediately it was gone. He, <laughs> that was, he was so confident, like, browse just put it on the cart. Throw it on the cart. Who gives a shit? 
Uh, yeah, it was immediately out of the cart. Someone bought it, and I just looked at him like, <gasps> no. "I'm filing the papers." Yeah, <laughs> wait, what, girl? I I can't I can't deal with this. Anyway, I was then encouraged because uh, it was like 150 dollars or something. Yeah, or like close to like yeah. 180 or ish. I think I bought the one that wasn't the one that people liked. It was like the version they they had the version the iFloor three, and I just got like the iFloor. So mine was a little uh, bit is more it made by Apple. <laughs> I think it's called the iFloor or something. <laughs> I don't know. So I was talking to someone, and they were like, "Oh, the Bissell Crosswave is like not that much more." No, and I was like, "Oh, tight. I'll just grab that." Saw it at Target. Isn't it double? Okay, sorry. Saw it at Target, threw it in the cart. I was like, throw it in there. Put it in the cart. <laughs> and I'm not even checking the sticker. Uh, well, first of all, I was having a panic attack, so I was fully dissociating because I was in a store. Same. Oh. And I was literally felt like I was on a tilt a whirl. Mm-hmm. And I looked briefly, saw the vacuum, saw it said $199.99. And I was like, perfect. Amazing. Put it in the cart. And then I get to the checkout mm-hmm. and I go over and he's ringing me out. And he goes, You can start loading your stuff in the cart. And I look. Is it six hundred dollars? <gasps> the car six hundred dollars. As he's ringing up, and I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, you made a mistake. Hold on, <laughs> just the vacuum was no, no. At this point, he was also ringing up other stuff. Okay, but okay. I was like, si-. but he wasn't done ringing stuff up, and it already <gasps> read six hundred. And, and then how like, do you be like? I have to puke. I have to puke. I have to puke. <laughs> so I bought it because I can't tell him that that's too much money for me to spend right now. I'm sorry, I'm poor. <laughs> well, excuse, excuse me, sir. Like, I'm poor. I'm sorry. What the fuck did you just ring up? I hate that. And I never want to be the person that's like, excuse me, that's not what the sticker said. So I'm just like, yeah. I'll pay. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I could have done that, huh? Sometimes they match it. Shit. <laughs> I didn't even think. I fully panicked and was like, I have I have all the money. Mm-hmm. Just put it on my card. And no big so deal. I, I brought it home and it's upstairs and I haven't even used it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a week. <gasps> oh, my God. And then I've spent $400. That's what it was? $400 on this vacuum that's been sitting in a closet for a week. Oh my God. Well, listen, I, I just did, I brought my Tinigo out today because I used it like three times and then it got dirty. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was like, throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. Well, that's kind of what I do because here's, <laughs> here's the my- most wasteful ass. Well, here's what ends up happening. I have a lot of hair. Mm-hmm. You guys. <laughs> yeah. I can make a beard. Um, um, no joke. She'll be gone. She'll like not be here for days, and I will still find her hair everywhere. I shed more than anybody. In I've my laundry, in my clean laundry. I'm like every man I've ever dated has found my hairs in his butt crack. <laughs> my son, when I would change his diaper, hairs in his butt crack. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I, I know because they can wrap around his little Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad news. It's no good. Yeah. Every t- there will be sometimes where I'm wearing a shirt fresh from the fresh from the laundry, mm-hmm. and I'll like pull out just a giant clump <laughs> of my hair, and I'm like, "Where did that come from?" My shirts it's too. Been tickling me. <laughs> yeah. So because of this, mm-hmm. when I vacuum, my hairs get caught up in the shits, right? Yeah. And like <laughs> <laughs> they're called shits. <laughs> Whatever they're called. Yeah. And I am like. My vacuum does the cleaning. I don't clean my vacuum. That's weird. <laughs> Rude. Yeah. So then when it... <laughs> I don't work for you. <laughs> when the, the blade stops because my hairs are all wrapped around it, I'm like, time for a new vacuum. You just have to take tiny scissors. I know. Now I do that. <laughs> I do like, that with my... you job. Uh... I did, for real. You work yeah. for me. <laughs> right. How rude. Right. I spent money on you. You are the people's vacuum. Yes. <laughs> do what I say. So today I did that. Mm-hmm. But then I had to get up in its hole. It's to pull my hairs out. Much like the butt crack. <laughs> Much like all of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> when I'm like, let me in there. Yeah. I have to buy my hairs. Yes. <gasps> You'll thank me. Speaking of, I know what the asshole eater song is. It, yeah. Somebody point me to the <laughs> best <laughs> asshole eater. Yeah. Yeah. And I also know the movie we were talking about. It's The Room. Yes. So we, did fi- we had someone leave it in a comment on the YouTube video, but we did figure it out <gasps> before then. We have comments? We have a singular comment. <laughs> it's oh, just a correction. It, it was not a yeah, correction. No, they just were just a, like, hey, girl. We asked them to answer. Did we? Call and respond. <laughs> What's <Yeah>. up? <laughs> and then I responded, mm-hmm. and then he responded back. So, is it someone we know? Backsy fork. Yeah. For backsy forksy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what's your story? It's 
Wow, perfect transition. Honestly, <laughs> this ties in so well. Okay. So uh, it's very slippery outside, mm-hmm. everybody. And mm. time out. You say slippery? Yeah. Thank you. Shane says slippy, and I. Sorry. <laughs> what are we for? <laughs> Apparently, it's a, a Pennsylvania slippy. thing. <sighs> and I've heard it's like another a... reason to hate <laughs> Pennsylvania. As we don't I... hate Pennsylvania. Oh, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There we go. We can't like alienate people. We have 49 other states. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple territories. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I hear kidding. we have Canadian <laughs> listeners. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Pennsylvania is probably fine. I just went to pick up a straw and there was nothing there. <laughs> okay, anyway, go ahead. Um, so I went to go get my groceries and mm-hmm. I don't grocery shop anymore because I'm afraid of stores also. <laughs> right. So I do pick up. Mm-hmm. Went and picked them up. Coming to get my groceries to pull them in, I slip hard yeah. on the ice full fucking blah, you know <laughs> yeah all of my groceries <laughs> everywhere and i thought i broke something yeah so i of started course you did. <laughs> because that's how i am yeah so i started screaming because mm-hmm. my boyfriend's a nurse <laughs> and i was like help and did i wanted to say no <laughs> what i yelled was Corey. uh well no i did say help and then i said i wanted to say I busted my ass and I ate shit. <laughs> and I just kept screaming, Corey, help! I ate ass! I ate ass! No. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, I did it. I ate, I ate ass so hard. <laughs> At that point, I knew Call I fucked it up. Nurse, you know what to do. <laughs> I knew I fucked up the words, but it hurt so goddamn. <laughs> I was like, I don't give a fuck. He'll understand. <laughs> So anyways, oh. that's what happened to me. Wow. I have a bruise. Oh, I'm sure. You, wanna see you guys want to see it? No, I'm just kidding. It's on your tongue? It is on my ass. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so today we're do- going to talk about judgments. Um, I think we're doing, because we kind of started talking about things that we were judgy. Yeah, like last judgy week's things. episode was about counterproductive habits of mind. And essentially, I know, essentially what it is, is like negative things that your mind does that are counterproductive. (laughs) Amazing. So essentially, like your brain jumps to conclusions, your brain makes assumptions and makes snap like judgments. Yeah. And it's kind of like we accidentally trained our brains to do this because they just started evolving that way. And then I was actually watching a TED talk from a guy. His name was Kwame. He was Caribbean? I that there's that word again. Where know, is Caribbean. it Caribbean? Is it Caribbean? <laughs> Anyways, he was amazing. Yeah. And um he was talking about how like our amygdala, which is what Yeah. Yeah. Where we store trauma. Yeah, and the fear and f- yeah. fight or flight that comes from that. And so our responses to trauma and to conflict and to all those things um didn't evolve. <laughs> As fast as, like, technology and things like that evolved and conflict and humanity evolved. So we still, that's why we still have fight or flight. But it's things like that where, like, it can, counterproductive habits of mind. We can change those. We are in charge of them. We just have to take it from our amygdala and switch it to our prefrontal cortex. Oh, my. Kwame. (laughs) Who is she? I know. College. She's a college girl. She knows things. You know, (laughs) I've been to a couple classes. (laughs) Wow. I know. Um, so as we were talking about it, one of the one of the habits, the counterproductive habits, is judgments and how mm-hmm. our brains are trained to see something and immediately think something about it. Mm-hmm. And so we did like a call to action to our followers. <laughs> so stupid. We're to call a cult. That. <laughs> I, I wanted to say our friends, um, <laughs> which you guys are. Yeah. That's the whole point of this. The mm-hmm. whole point is that, you know. N- First of all, we didn't know quarantine was going to happen when we started it. It was No, but that really worked out in our favor. <laughs> How truly, amazing. Truly. We should have jumped on the whole like visual part of it then. Oh, but, my you know, God. You know. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Well, also, we I mean, were... I mean, shorta, curta, murder. <laughs> Shrouder, crowder. Router. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, so, to. yeah, we did a call to action, and we asked people to send in their judgments um, and I realized a couple people were talking to me and they're like, well, I don't usually 
judge people. And I'm like, you filthy liar. But y'all do it. Um, they're like, I don't really judge people, but I feel judged oh. in X, Y, Z. And so I was like, well, that's really fascinating because for you to feel judged about that means you must have encountered someone else either judging someone mm -hmm. or society has put out a message that makes you feel like you would be judged for it. Or they have like right. judged other because I know that I won't say any names. Family members of mine <laughs> have told me they're so worried about like the way their house looks mm -hmm. and constantly trying. And I'm like, what friends are you allowing into your house that are going to judge your home or is that how you are when you go into other, like right. when you go into other people's houses and you're like wow this is a mess i promise other people don't do that i don't do that right. i've never gone into a house and been like what a fucking pig no right. that's a lie i have a one time yeah. but it was a legit hoarder's house and i was yeah. like not a pigsty i was just like i'm overwhelmed by right. everything in here so there's my right. judge <laughs> no i i've I know I don't have that judgment now, mm -hmm. but I have had that judgment in the past of looking at people and thinking that they were lazy because mm -hmm. either they looked a certain way or their home looked a certain way. We were told that. We were told that that's yeah. what, that it can't be anything other than laziness. If you right. have your home a certain way or like you look a certain way, you're lazy. Right. If you act a certain way, lazy. Right. Couldn't be anything else. Yeah. Um. So... We are going to go through. Sierra doesn't know what any of these are. So I love I, being surprised. So what I was saying is people sent in their judgments and assumptions about other people. And then they also send in stuff that they feel judged about, mm -hmm. which I'll be honest, those literally made me start to cry yesterday. Um, That's how I, I am. am like super menstrual. <laughs> so amazing. I, that might have something to do with it. Really? Well, next week, my pre, symptoms are pre-menstrual. <laughs> pre <-menopausal. laughs> um, Aren't it, we all? Until you are menopausal. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Philosophical. Thank you. Okay. So let's just jump into it, shall we? There's sure. a butt ton. Okay. By the way, I have like a tinted chap, chap lip on. <laughs> And so I keep thinking it's going to get on my teeth. And if you see me, I'm like, I'm just so worried. <laughs> no one can see your teeth from that far away. I, I don't. I You can. And so oh. you have to tell me. Oh, okay. I'll just start going like this. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> okay. So this person says, I assume people with big houses are rich. Oh, same. Yeah. Same. Um, Not always the case. I know. Or if they I was asking are. A question. Oh, well, I would think that it can't always be the case. Um because maybe they're renting and they don't actually have money or, or maybe it's a family member's or maybe they're irresponsible with their money and like they sunk it all into this house and now they're broke. Do you know that there's like, and also just like generational like wealth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ju not even like, because that would make the person technically rich, but like parents just leaving homes to kids. What? What? Yes. Could not imagine because not gonna happen to me <laughs> you know what i mean yeah i just like there are i people... don't want my childhood house though mm, well my i don't have a childhood house because we moved <laughs> <laughs> no, i never knew my father <laughs> but like we moved just kidding we know who you are <laughs> are you watching because right <laughs> you're not watching no <laughs> of course not um but yeah i i don't know there's people that will be like this is my house because my grandpa left it to me. Yeah. And I'm like, he just left you a whole house? But yeah. it's not their house, but it's a big ass friggin'. Right. Then I would be kind of annoyed because I'm like, I have to pay property tax on that grandpa. See, the reason I don't want my childhood home is because I would feel weird about making it my own. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to start fresh. Yeah, but then somewhere. there's. But then I always feel weird because when there's actual like homes, like generational homes, like our grandparents' homes, yeah. then I'm like, like when my grandparents pass away, I feel like one of us has to buy their house because right. I'm like I want to see when I, we go past our grandma's house oh, yeah, and I see sad. other people living there. I'm like, get out of her house! Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, she's gonna it. be so pissed. I know. Please, are you out. aware that she's a male lion? <laughs> Oh, we do a lot of callbacks. Again, if you're new, um, go watch our other stuff. We I only mean, have one listen. other video. <laughs> or listen. But, you know, if you got time, there's uh, so many to listen to. Yeah. Um, okay. This person says she's ashamed of this one. Mm -hmm. um, that she does? Oh. Uh, overweight equals laziness, not genetic stress or trauma. Oh. See, but again, I think that's a societal thing. I don't yeah. think that's, I think it's like what we talked about last um, episode where your first thought 
Right. Did you, did you hear that? No. It just came out of me. It was like a was... gurgle. <laughs> it was so bizarre. I bet they heard it over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think that's society's fault. And then what comes yeah. after if she corrects herself is what's important. Right. Well, I don't I don't know if she feels judged by this or if she judges oh. people in this way. Oh. I'm not sure how to read Either it. Either way, that's so sad. Though. Either it's sad or you're a shitty... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> fix yourself <laughs> no because they that's how it's promoted it is is like it's that's always why been promoted like that that's why lizzo mm-hmm. sharing her um weight loss not weight loss um her health journey like her mm-hmm. fitness journey sharing all of that she's showing i'm healthy at regardless yeah. of my size i went off on a dude at a bar because of that he said something and he was like I was like, this is Lizzo. Her song came on. I'm like, I fucking love Lizzo. And he's like across to here. I don't even know if we knew each other yeah. that well. And he was like, I mean, she's cool and like her music's okay, but I just don't like that she promotes unhealthiness. And I go, unhealthiness? First of all, you are overweight, sir, <laughs> with the audacity. And second of all, she's not unhealthy. If you have ever seen her perform, I bet your ass couldn't do that. I right. know mine couldn't, and I'm right. thinner than her, and I know she's in better shape than I am. Right. I fucking know that. Right. So you cannot judge her shape, her fitness level, like anything about her based her on her weight. Yeah, yeah. Not at all, because I'm thinner looking than she is. You know what that's I'm, called? Wait, what? Tofi. Tofi. Yeah, I had some guy tell me that I was Tofi one time. Um, I rude was rude a teacher, yeah. and I used to teach health, and we were talking about how you can be thin on the outside but fat on the inside. That's me. Thin outside, fat inside. <gasps> Tofi. Oh, I'm Tofi. I'm Tofi. <laughs> he and basically what he was saying is like you don't eat healthy, you don't work out, you don't do these mm-hmm. things. So just because you are a slender person doesn't mean that you are healthy. Oh, You're yeah. not. My my metas- metabolism does all the work for me. Okay, Everything right. else is like I. It's disgusting. I'm not in good health. Not whatsoever. at all. No. So I, my my organs are screaming <laughs> literally. So the audacity when people say shit about her, I'm like, she could do shit that I couldn't. In- she did right. a split one time, and I was like, excuse me, I could never. <laughs> I can. I, I got <laughs> well, look at you. <laughs> I got some double jointed. Do stuff. one right here. <laughs> I I did on the fucking f- prove it. <laughs> I will later. We can you can record me and put it on our stories. Okay. I don't care. All right. Um, this person says, I drink pumpkin spice lattes every year, even though they taste like hot dog water. I agree and also the same. <laughs> what judgment is that? Well, she feels like she's supposed to do it. She's like, a basic Society bitch. is saying, Let me it's say fall so- time, drink a goddamn pumpkin spice latte. I'm going to go off on another rant about men here mm-hmm. just real quick, because that's what I'm going to turn this episode into. Do it. Um... I don't like that men have made women enjoying things basic. Because Mm. when men all like football, do we call them basic? Did men make it basic? Yeah. It wasn't women that were like, look at that basic bitch. I'm telling you, that was a men. That was a. That was a man. That was was a a patriarchy. (laughs) That was a sure. (laughs) It was a patriarchy. I feel like bitches. Basic how? Because we all like the same thing. Men literally have like three hobbies. Sports, games. Woodworking. Yes, that's a fucking bitch. I was literally just trying to think of shit my husband does. <laughs> Do we call them basic? No. Why? No, I call them I call them a nerd. <laughs> well, they are nerdy. <laughs> uh, um, someone else said something about that. Let me go and look. It wasn't the... Um, I forget. If it comes up later, I'll I'll make the connection. Okay. This one says, having four kids. Oh, I assume... There's judgment towards me as a mother by society, especially having four kids and being divorced, not fitting the specific cookie cutter molds. Uh, girl, I feel that. I had yeah. one baby at um, 20 and then <laughs> broke up with baby daddy and then was single <laughs> with... <laughs> I don't normally say baby daddy. I know. It caught me off guard. <laughs> but I had to. I felt yeah. like I had to because... I'm not going to say his name. That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you have not in the other 72. This one's we have TikTok people. <laughs> TikTok's here, behave. 
<laughs> no, but um, yeah, I, I just feel like I totally feel that because when I'll go to like his school things and I'm standing there, first of all, I'm very young, yeah, and I look younger than I am. Like we're in third grade now with my son. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we're in third grade. <laughs> I went back to third grade, not college. I forgot to tell you. Oh, it's weird, but it's where I had to start. Um, no, he's in third grade. So when I go there, there's a lot of women that look like they're in their 30s, yeah. which I am, you know, almost 30. I don't look like I'm almost 30. So when I'm there. Oh, yeah. I just... <laughs> Are my wrinkles? <laughs> I told you guys that TikTok made my head too big. <laughs> I'm like, what? No, I did have a woman at the uh, gas station the other day. I handed her my ID to get some beer yeah. skis, and she was like, looked down, and she goes, I would never guess that. I oh. was like, what? And she's like, that you're almost 30. <laughs> I was like. Why did she whisper it? I don't know if she thought it was like a bad thing to talk about. Like, it was a curse people. word? I was like, please yell it. I'm 30, bitch. <laughs> yeah. She thought I was underage. But yeah, she thought I was her age. She's 19. Oh, look at you. And you're like, I'm in the third grade. <laughs> Excuse you. It's weird, but me and my son go to school again. <laughs> and I'm learning a lot. But yeah, I feel like um I feel judged even though I am in uh a marriage and I had children. I did things like the traditional way essentially <laughs> and had my children after getting married. After getting married. Boring. <laughs> But I still feel like because my parenting style isn't the same as like what was considered normal that people like roll their eyes at me all the time. I think that's the weirdest thing that we did in our society is that we made it like this is cookie cutter perfect. And if you're not this, you're strange. And what is wrong with you? And it's like because people look at me and my son's dad and his wife and their child and my boyfriend all go out to dinners together with my son. And they're just like oh, that's so weird that you guys would hang out with them. And I'm like, well, they're my family. Right. Like, whether you like it or not. This is healthy for our child. This is my family. And I know it doesn't look like your family and it doesn't look like cookie cutter family, but like, this is our family and it's okay. I think there's nothing right that you can do as a mother. Yeah. Honestly. In in society's eyes, no matter what you do, something will be wrong. Yeah, you're a screw up in some type of way. So you're not a screw up, whoever you are. I hope you know. Not at all. <laughs> I love that you went. <laughs> oh my god! I tried really hard not to say action this time, but I, <laughs> I felt like I have to do something. Uh, okay. So this person says that they feel like not having a degree or being accomplished invalidates their opinion in their voice. Why are all of these people me? Fun fact, Sierra put all of these in here. I know. I was like... Did I, I get- did read that and think that that's... I know that that's how you feel. Yeah, because I for the longest time, that's literally why I wanted to go back to college because I know that I'm intelligent and so are you, whoever you are. I don't know who you are, but you're freaking smart yeah. and you're opinion your intelligence is not invalidated by a lack of degree yeah because let me tell you something college is easy <laughs> i told you that all the time all the I time she would breezing through this shit. we would speak about things and she would be like oh i know i didn't go to college or i know that i don't have a degree and i'm like that you have no idea how stupid college is i do I more research up. on my own for just funsies, just yeah. for extracurricular learning, then they have us do in college. Honestly, I feel like college is more so to open your eyes yeah. um, to a broader view of things, yes. to experience things that you wouldn't necessarily Which I've experience. done already, kind yeah. of on my own. So everything they're teaching me, like, I'll say things, and I, I'm like, yeah, I know this. It's kind of what I did to my therapist, and she would be like, wow, you even need me here? And I'm like, I've done a lot of research. Honestly. <laughs> I wouldn't have come here had I not done the research because that's like in my crazy controlling way I'm like I have to know everything about this before I can feel like I need to look smart to you Mm -hmm. even though I need your help I need to make it look like I don't need your help yeah because I need to know yeah I want to feel smart and it's crazy that a piece of paper makes somebody feel smarter now that it is a lot of work it's four years worth of work or more sometimes but you can do that work on your own, and I don't think it's just because somebody isn't dictating it to you. Or giving you a grade for right. it. Right, that it yeah. makes you any less smart. Yeah, so. or that it makes your voice any less important. Mm-hmm. Because 
experience is a huge thing. Yeah. Like your lived experiences are so unique to you and sharing those are sometimes more powerful mm -hmm. than any research paper. I'm telling you, when I went through the abusive relationship that I went through, I feel like I got a crash course on like psychology and narcissism and stuff like that where people who are psychologists will talk about it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I already know all about that yeah. because I lived it for right. four years. Like I feel like you don't need to tell me examples and give me like – a course study. I went through it right. and my views have changed about, dramatically about a lot of the world's things because of the experiences I've had. So right. I um, think college does that for you too, which is why it's important, but right. you can have those without going to college. Right. Um, doctors of color are smarter. Indian, Asian, black always seem to be the ones finding a cure in movies. The scientists with the answers are always people of color. I feel like I agree with that. I feel like I do too. That's very interesting. Because if I'm going to picture doctors in my head, the smart ones yeah. are people of color. Wow. And the, like, the guy who's the fuck up um, is a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is a guy. Because yeah. sometimes I've had very smart white doctors and they're always female. <laughs> yes. Honestly. Yeah. But like it. Uh, they're always Meredith Grey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> not, to, not to shit on white doctors but i that lives we're hopping with that group <laughs> you know we're big with white doctors <laughs> yeah they're who listen to us right but yeah that i don't know that's crazy i never thought that i wonder if it's because like because a lot of times what i'm thinking about is people that are foreign yeah you know who like uh, speak with a foreign accent and things like that because wonder, they're immigrants yeah, yeah and i wonder if it's because other places have access to education that we don't have access to or it's easier you know for well them to i get... have a judgment just hearing that is that though um the doctors of color if that's a correct way to say it i guess yeah um it was pressured on them by their families to do so that is because that's how it's portrayed in society yeah so it almost like it's almost like yeah of course it was an indian Person, the first or, thing I was or thinking yeah, it was Indian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's like portrayed in yeah. media and in society that like um, that's that huge. culture mm -hmm. just really focuses on grades and education and yeah. wants them their children to be doctors. Yeah, I don't even know if that's true, but that's either. just something that was pumped and thrown at us all the time. Yeah, that I didn't think about until someone showed Indian that. doctors. Let us know. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well. White doctors, ask your <laughs> Indian doctor friends. Yeah, we know who our demographic is. <laughs> yeah. It's white doctors. I would rather it not be just male white doctors. <laughs> we really want to diversify, but, you know. who we reach. Um, anyone with type 2 diabetes is just lazy and could fix it if they tried hard enough. Oh, that's sad. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's how insulin works. <laughs> <laughs> this person says that their dad does have diabetes oh. and so that's been like a struggle for them to feel like society is pushing one thing mm -hmm. but like to also know that it's not true yeah um i think nick jonas cured that whole <laughs> did he have type 2 yeah he's type 2 diabetes <gasps> he's currently has it oh my god wait is type 2 the one you can't help it's not wait no that's type 1 oh then he has type 1 <laughs> Have you seen him he's ripped <laughs> he does not have type 2 see judgment i yep. assume if you have type 2 diabetes, you're overweight. Then you're not wh whipped. <laughs> Part of me wonders... not into whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wonders if that's true, though. But again, why don't I have type 2 diabetes? Maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I pee all the time. My mom... Every is time that a I thing? Is that a symptom? The only reason I know that is because I'll Web call MD. my mom and be like, oh. Mom, I think I have a UTI. I'm peeing all the time. She's like, could be diabetes. <laughs> I'm like, What? <laughs> Your mom is the human web MD. She really is. <laughs> that one TikTok. Did you did I send it to you? I don't know. I think I just sent it to Erica. But it was this person who was pretending to type in like headache and it was this other person pretending to be web MD and they were like hitting a buzzer. <laughs> yeah. like, Brain cancer. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Um anyone who friend requests me on Facebook that I don't know must be trying to sell me something. Yeah, or in love with me. I'm trying to get this <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes. If it's a guy, if it's a guy trying to yeah. friend request me, they want in my, and if it's a girl, <laughs> <laughs> that sound though. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I made it squishy the first time and I apologize. Gushy. <laughs> the, 
Um, and if it's a girl, then MLM. Yeah. Multi level marketing, yeah. period. Period scale. <laughs> <laughs> For the ladies. I'll be honest. Pyramid scale. I have a love hate relationship with MLMs. I have a hate hate relationship with MLMs. I know what you do, but I have a couple people who I adore. Mm hmm. And I, <laughs> I just can't think badly I of them. I judge MLM <laughs> so hard. And I know. Well, here's why. I just think that they're and they. You know what it is? They both work for the same company. Mm. Can I guess which company? <laughs> yeah. Is it some kind of oils? No. Oh. Oh, that reminds me. I have other friends. <laughs> Is it a cleaning cloth? <laughs> no, I have a cousin though. <laughs> okay, then it's got to be some kind of shake. No, a health a health shake. <laughs> no, what is it? It's like a cosmetics. Oh, they oh. might have shakes. Oh, oh, oh. I, okay, I know. Anyways, here's the thing. I'm not judging the people who sell it. I feel like they are very MLMs are extremely predatory. I have a yeah. very. I'm not. I don't like MLMs because I feel like they prey on people who um, want to be home with their kids, want to just have some extra income. Financial freedom. Yes. And they they know. Here's the thing. With period schemes, <laughs> you, somebody is going to be at the bottom. Yeah. So unless you can tell, you can get people underneath you. And then I feel like that's scummy to do to those yeah. people. Then you're always going to be on the bottom. And there are some, you just, I feel like you lose more money than you put in. And you can tell me that I'm wrong and that's fine. But over time, that's what's going to happen. See, they told me. <laughs> and if they don't, if they make really good money, it's because they have people underneath them that See, don't. I don't know what their finances are, but um, when this. One of my friends was debunking some of those thoughts mm -hmm. for the for her specific company. Now mm -hmm. I can't speak to all the other ones, yeah. but she was just sharing that like to invest it was like forty dollars, mm -hmm. and you are not responsible for um, housing any product. Mm -hmm. You are not responsible for meeting any quotas. You're not responsible for like literally doing anything. Yeah, and so like the investment of it is not really a risk i accidentally became a young living distributor was that <laughs> <laughs> i think i knew that i think i knew that they they because they did that shit to me they yeah. sold me on this amazing oil kit for 50 bucks and i was yeah. like oh, fantastic yeah i'd love to and then i started getting letters and they were like how much did you sell this month and i was like oh, say again <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry what? i just thought i fucking bought these what? products and but now were you punished for it I do have to pay like something yearly, but it's only a couple cents and I don't pay it. <laughs> oh, well then. But it was annoying because they kept like yeah. bad. It is me. annoying. It is annoying. And I don't know if this company does that. Yeah. Um, I will say one time um, when I was working at Victoria's Secret, my friend was like, hey, do you want to come to this Mary Kay party with me? My mom says Mary Kay. I know. <laughs> I know. Here's the thing, though. I think things like that are OK only because like. She doesn't have anybody underneath her. And so she she's just, the person at the bottom? She's <laughs> <laughs> but she sells people, like, she gets makeup money. She yeah. just sells. And they, and they have good products. I'm wearing Mary Kay mascara right now. So, yeah. like, it, this yeah. is an ad for Mary Kay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she invited, she's like, they're doing just like makeovers, and I have yeah, to yeah. bring someone. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool. And so then they, she does my makeup. Cause she told me, <laughs> no, was it your mom? <laughs> no, she told me she's like, hey, I just became a what do they call them? Consultant. A consultant, mm -hmm. and I need to do a makeover on mm -hmm. someone. So can I? Will you do it? I'm like, sure. I don't have anything to do. So I went with her, and then all of a sudden, I end up in this other room, mm -hmm. and it's me, her, and two other people, and they're like, so, so, um, what do you think about our products? And I'm no. like, I think I need to get out of this room. <laughs> See, I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like. It that. was very time sherry. They asked me several, I've several, had shit several like that times. With lip sense before. And I'm yes, like, mm. lip sense burned my effing mouth off. Okay, I thought I loved it, and the more I used it, it literally peeled my lips off. Yes, like I would use it, and I'd be like, "This is great," and then like after three uses, I was like, "My lips were so <laughs> chapped and like burnt. And they yes. were. It was horrible. It looked like I had just one giant cold sore. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it was awful. Um. I think, are we good on those? So, yeah, sorry, everybody. I think we everybody. need to move away from... Sorry, everybody. Again, it's not you. I don't like... It's to... not you, it's me. 
I don't like the people, the uplines. Yeah. Because it just feels wicky. Yeah. I <laughs> and mean, there are people was... that ruin it for you. But I have somebody that I've never talked to in my life, and she messages me every week, I feel oh, like. Oh, yeah. And it's like, can you just do this one thing for me, girly? And I'm like, oh, I that's so we know I who don't you are. Like, I don't like that at all. No. Again, my friends are not the people who I'm talking and about my mom. do not do that. <laughs> yeah, neither does my mom. Because um, she knows that I would get on her ass for that. I'd be like, stop doing that to people. The people I'm friends with are like, listen. I don't need to try and sell these things. Yes. And I'm like, tight because I'm not buying them. <laughs> right. Um, I'm broke okay. too. <laughs> and the whole like, bu- I'm th- I'm three more mascaras. I hate that. Away from this. Help don't me get guilt there. me into Excuse buying me, a mascara. I'm not going to Mexico with you. <laughs> I don't need your fucking mascara. No. Please, three more mascaras. And then I get a trip to Cabo that I'm going to show you all. And you're going to be super jealous about the and entire you're weekend. And then you pink there. eye because I don't really know what's in this. <laughs> yeah. So weird. Okay. And their mascara makes your eyes look like spiders. The webs are on it. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, anyone with red hair must be Irish and burn baby burn in the sun. Shout out to you and my boyfriend. <laughs> First of all, my boyfriend's I'm not a little Irish, Irish at all. <laughs> I'm a little Irish. Actually, I don't know that. <laughs> Parson sounds pretty Irish. That's his dad's last name, and his dad is not the one. Where oh, they get so his there. dad's not related to him? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid idiot! <laughs> no, I mean that's not where the red hair comes from. His dad's uh, got hair like mine. Uh, have you seen my parents? <laughs> <laughs> They're my aunt and uncle. Why do I have to think about that? So much? Yeah, dark complected, dark hair. Your dad even? Yes. I thought he's always had lighter hair. No. All right. Well, no. when the, where did you come from, Jerry? <laughs> I don't Riddle know. Riddle me this. I don't know, but that's another thing I feel judged about is like, oh, you're Nobody the redheaded knows who your step parents child. are. Oh, you must be the milkman. Oh. Uh. You are the milkman or you're the milkmans? Could have been either one for all I know. Um, or that I have a temper. Um, well, <laughs> what would give you that idea? Um, I would never. Yeah. There, one time, someone assumed that I had a fire crutch. <laughs> You know? <laughs> no, I for sure do. <laughs> but that's not your business. <laughs> but they uh, they asked me at basketball. I was like, they're like, so do the carpets match the drapes? And I'm like, what makes you think I have carpets? <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, I have hardwood floors. <laughs> These babies just got buff. But I literally was like. Um, but seriously, look at my arm hairs. They're blonde. Look at my armpit hairs. They're blonde. Look at my leg hairs. They're blonde. <laughs> my Why would my... <laughs> are blonde. <laughs> Why would... My eyebrows are blonde. Why would my crotch be red? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Why is it red? <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was gonna Very bring matchy up, matchy over here. <laughs> yeah, I can't because I'm just gonna bring up my boyfriend's pubes. And that's rude. I don't want to know because if he's here next week, I don't want to be thinking about it. Really? Because you guys have <laughs> similar carpets. <laughs> Got our carpets from the same guy. Okay. Um, I do get sunburned, and I'm only a little Irish. <laughs> yeah. Um, but they're actually fun fact are more redheads in Scotland than Ireland. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, Is Scottish? No. Is that from your mom's side? Mom's side. Rude. Um, my mom assumes anyone with a tattoo must either be a criminal or an artist. <laughs> artist. <laughs> criminal. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Honestly, I get that. Honestly, I've been arrested. <laughs> She's not wrong. And I've drawn a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, that one was really effing funny to me. <laughs> People who still support Trump are just embarrassed. Click, clack. <laughs> Please. People who still support Trump are just embarrassed at how ridiculous they sound, so they continue to fight because otherwise everyone knows they're idiots. That's called cognitive dissonance. <laughs> it is real. Um, 
I wonder sometimes if there are people who are they're just going down pr- with the ship. Because they're prideful. Yep. Because they're too proud to be like, you know what? That was a uh, bad judgment call on my boys? part. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. They have too much. And I say pride in a bad way. When I talk about pride, yeah. people are like, yeah, pride. And I'm like, I don't think that's a good thing. No, not like gay pride. Like, no, we're talking about like pride, like prideful to a fault. Mm-hmm. If you're... um like barreling down on something because you're too proud to be like, hey guys, I fucking made a bad choice yep. here. Whoopsie. Yeah. Like, ugh, that is frustrating. Also, yeah. somebody the other day showed me a picture where they like made this thing that was like, I love President Trump and he was the best. And I was like, if you ever say that you love a politician, go get help, honestly. Uh, truly. <laughs> you shouldn't be loving. But I loved Obama. I loved him too. <laughs> I, and I love Michelle. Okay, well, I fucking love Michelle. <laughs> she wasn't the president. Obama is okay. He did some things that I'm not cool. I'm not the greatest with. Yeah, but I also I still love him. I love him as a person, but they yeah, love as him a as a human president. Being. Yeah, well, they love him as something else. Someone else brought up Trump, and they said that they assumed that people who look normal don't support him. And I will say... I'll say the same. I, Except there are some women. Men... I can pick out every male Trump supporter. I can freaking call it from across the room. See, some I will judge women, some people and think that if they look a certain way that they must have voted for Trump, uh-huh. but they didn't. Yeah. So, like, I think Mine's the opposite first, sometimes. Because with women, sometimes I'll be like, my girl. And then they tell me, and I'm like, my oh, no, girl. No, 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 no. It's no. because <laughs> 55% white women voted I for know. him. And I'm like, I can't, I can't, especially around here, I feel like. One of my friends, when he was elected, sent me the statistics, and he goes... <laughs> In our county? One of my... No, no, no. He sent me the statistics overall. Oh, I was And gonna... it was like, um, it was like over 50%. And he goes, this is all your fault. I know. It really is. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm one person and I did not vote for him. Yeah. No, I didn't either. But, um, okay. Oh, branching off of that, this is one of my judgments that I just remembered. I didn't realize I had this judgment until I was listening to the podcast um, called Seeing White. And her, um, it's not called Seeing White doesn't matter it was the series within the podcast was called seeing white Mm -hmm. um seen on radio anyway uh there was somebody from the south on i think he was from kentucky and he's like people assume because of my accent that i'm uneducated and racist and i'm like i'm i'm someone i think that you're uneducated and racist i don't know why a country accent yeah if there is a twangy accent i'm like when was your last grade third me too (laughs) But I know that's not true. I know it's not. But why do we think that? I don't why know. Why do we think that? I don't know. Let's unpack it. I think it's because of society. Yeah. I think in media. Um, that right there is why I want to want to go into psychology because I love when like we have judgments like this. I want to be like, why? Yeah. Maybe that's a sociology thing. I should fucking minor in that because I think yeah. that's sociology more than psychology. But that's literally my favorite thing to do is be like, why? Yeah. Why do we think that? Um. I, that is, last week when we talked about how um, our first thought isn't our fault, Mm -hmm. but the second is, Mm -hmm. and so you need to challenge it, that's something that I challenge all the time. But it's only men. Yeah. If you're a woman, I think you make iced tea Dainty so little flower. well yeah. and that you could bake a pie like a motherfucker. <laughs> that's why I think if you have a country accent, you're a woman. Yeah. Let me know, country accented women. Can you make a pie like a mother <laughs> Can you make us some pies? Um, I fucking love pie. <laughs> eh. Pie or cake? Cookies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I still am doubling down on pie, but mm. I, I like How much cookie. whipped cream am I allowed to have? On the pie? Yeah. What kind of pie? Pumpkin? Literally any pie. I can't have it without whipped cream. Oh. Mm-hmm. I like a dry pie. <laughs> <laughs> Other than like chicken pot pie. But... Oh my god, chicken pot pie is so good. I know. Is cheesecake, cake, or pie? It's cake. What about the crust? That's what makes a pie a pie. Well, it's cheesecake. But it could be cheese pie. (laughs) (laughs) But it's not cheese pie. Oh, that's annoying. Um, People who go to Disney more than once every eight years are rich. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. They have to be. I've never been to Disney (laughs) in my life. I'm so bored. (laughs) I've been to Disney one time, and it was almost 20 years ago. (laughs) Well, you went again. Oh, I did. Yeah. I went last year. Yeah. Wow. Right before the shutdown. Yeah. I cried the whole time I was there. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh. Because I was I was lonely and I missed my family. Oh, yeah. I you was like, this is the heaviest your... place on earth. Yeah. I don't have anyone to share with. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. 
people with large. She went to Disney by herself <laughs> completely. <laughs> what if you did? I did. That would be so weird, <laughs> wouldn't it? Um, people with large Insta followings are mini celebrities. However, I know many are paid for. Yeah. Shots fired. <laughs> um, I don't know that I see them as mini celebrities. I mean, I kind of do just because they're recognizable. I mean, we are now. <laughs> Have you gotten recognized? No, nobody knows me. Oh, <laughs> s- someone did to me one time. I well, I know that they know us. Walking down? No, I was at a restaurant and they were like, "Are you oh. one of the ladies of Ladies and Tangents?" And I was like, "Go, get me another water." <laughs> yeah. Um, but I had, I did have someone one time, um, come up to me at a wedding and they're like, "Terry Stein," and I'm like, "That's." Not my full name, but yeah, that's yes. my <laughs> photography name. And they're like, oh my God, I love your work so much. I would, I wanted you to have my wedding, but you were already booked. I'm so happy to see you here. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then I had another person come up to me at a restaurant and they were like, um, well, I guess I'm just proving that this is true. <laughs> but Anyways, here's all the time I got recognized. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone came up to me and they were started, they started talking to me about my house renovation and they're like and if you ever need a babysitter like we're we're around and mm-hmm. i'm like i'm sorry i don't know who you are <laughs> i am not weird? going to leave my child with you that's what people will do that for the podcast they'll come up and just start talking to me and be like i you were so strong when you talked about this and i was like i said that to people <laughs> oh whoopsie God. i black out the whole time I'm yeah doing this. Uh, a big whoopsie yeah uh, i assume most teachers stay in education solely because they have summers off this teacher didn't stay in education. Although I will say, if I didn't have an out with photography, like if my business wasn't doing well enough to support my family, yeah. um, I would there. I couldn't have done anything else other than teaching. I think I'm gonna because advocate, of the schedule. I'm gonna advocate for teachers real quick. Do I it because I didn't <laughs> give a lot of shit because they're like teachers get weekends and fucking holidays off and they get. Three months of the summer, and I don't think there's a lot of other jobs where you bring your job home with you, and you literally do it all day and all night, and on the weekends, like testing and, and making plans. Like you are not just a teacher going there and sitting and teaching kids. You know what I yeah. mean? You you make lesson plans. You take you do tests and shit like that. Like all of that is shit you're doing at home. Well, think about it. You've done a presentation before. It's Everyone's done a presentation before. How long? Did you prep for that presentation? And the presentation was what? Five, ten minutes long? Now imagine every day that you're doing that. Multiple classes a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I know people aren't lecturing for the entirety of 40 minutes. But you have to plan for the entirety of 40 minutes. You have to have something done for 40 minutes for every day. And I just don't understand when people think And you have to pay for a lot of your supplies yourself. Yeah. I remember I had to... um, I think I spent close to like a hundred dollars a year just on stuff for my classroom oh, I believe I, it. and i would buy clothes for kids i would buy yep. hygiene products for kids um i have given students rides before because they were walking like a mile for, i had one student who was um severe like her she had a really severe limp mm-hmm. because she i think she had a traumatic brain injury when she was younger oh. and she was walking a mile from her house to the bus and I was driving and I saw her and she was like trying to run oh, because no. she thought she was going to miss the bus and if she missed school like it was going to be bad and yeah. so I gave her a ride and like I knew that I could get in trouble because like it's sketchy giving kids rides nowadays but like right. you, you can't you, yeah yeah it's a I don't think this person was saying that like yeah, it's no. cushy but at the same time I know a lot of people think that way though my own boyfriend yes. did and I had to be like hey Oh, yeah, he used to get in I fights know. with me. He's like, oh, God, I get it. Yeah. We shouldn't make the same amount. I work all year long. <laughs> what? <laughs> My goodness. And I also want to be like, hey, Corey, you work three days a week, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Uh, it's a lot. It, it takes an emotional toll on you. It takes a mental and physical toll on you. It's, yep. it's rough. Yeah. No- And you could not, part of the reason I left teaching, I don't talk about this, is because of my PTSD. I haven't gotten to this in therapy yet, but school shootings and the inevitability of them and how they train you that it's it's a moment of when, not if, is one of the most horrific things that I ever had to go through as an educator. And I would call Shane every day in tears. I have to get out. I have to get out. I can't be here anymore. 
How many other jobs do you know that, that have to go through training like that, that have to go through active shooter training a lot right? and are told you have to put yourself in the way of your students or your... your you or know. leave them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And these are people with children that yeah. you care about. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and me teaching high school special ed with students with severe autism and mm-hmm. Down syndrome and physical impairments who are like cerebral palsy cannot move very quickly. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Or know how to be quiet in certain situations right. like that. Right. Because overstimulated, mm-hmm. um, when people with autism are overstimulated, like terrible, terrible things could happen. And they don't know necessarily the danger of what's going on. Yeah. It was entirely too much. Um, and I that was one of the things I felt the most guilty about leaving mm-hmm. was I felt like I was leaving my kids behind. And mm-hmm. I was I was there was a luxury that I had of choosing to walk away that those students didn't. Mm-hmm. And I think about it all the time and it makes me sick. Oh, that's terrible. I know. So that we're just gonna made move me on. really sad. Oh my god! I know. Sorry, I got us down in the dumps. We got to talk about assholes again. Hold on. <laughs> um, I, I did see a. Uh, have you ever seen like in Walmart they have like the decorative looking things? And there was like a big wooden looking thing, and it was gray and it had little ridges. And somebody was like, "Walmart's selling elephant assholes." <laughs> <laughs> decorative butts. Okay. <laughs> no, not butts. Holes. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Um, I was raised to assume anyone on welfare doesn't have a full-time job. As someone who's been on, not welfare, but food stamps. Yeah. And that, um, that is, that happens a lot. My own mom will say that she, my mom has talked about the fact that we for sure could have been on assistance, but she had pride. Well, there's so much shame around it. She was like, Sierra couldn't because I felt like I was failing or I had too much pride. I couldn't do it. And I have no shame when it comes to it because my son is e- isn't is eating mac and cheese and ramen noodles every day. I make him meals. Not anymore. I don't get food assistance anymore. But when yeah, I did. Right now he eats like crackers. Yeah. <laughs> he gets Lunchables like for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> he actually had a Lunchable for breakfast the other day. He was out. It was a snow day. It was, it was a request. Fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I used to think that I was working two jobs at the time mm-hmm. and like busting my ass. But this is America and we literally could not have gotten by with that alone, just the two of us. So I was on food assistance. And when I would swipe my card, I remember pulling it out and like hiding it when yeah. I went to swipe it because I was afraid that somebody behind me would say something because right. my cart was full of fruits and vegetables and meats and healthy food for my child because if you don't feed your child healthy food, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. But if you do feed them healthy food and you get it with food stamps, you're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. So so it's a catch-22. Don't be right. poor. That's right. it. Just don't be poor. And, like, it's the system. It's not my... It wasn't... Right. I mean, unless, like I said, unless you have generational wealth, I had a baby when I was 20. What was I supposed to do? Right. And our... The healthcare system failed me on getting birth don't control. Have sex. Like, yeah, like don't just don't have sex. Yeah. What a realistic thing to tell people. Yeah. So dumb. Keep your legs closed, you <laughs> hussy. <laughs> when people say that, I'm like, okay. You teach your kids that and let me know how it is when they are yeah. 18, 19. Yeah. Um most people assume women do laundry, but this person's husband does theirs. <sighs> Shane does not touch our laundry. Can you teach me how to get <laughs> I get a guy to do laundry. A hard time. <laughs> I don't let Shane do our laundry. Yeah. Well, well okay. I lied. Corey I lied. has done our laundry before, and I don't like the way he does it. So I'm like, don't touch that. He'll come down and he'll switch the laundry. Mm-hmm. Like he'll put a load in, put it in the dryer, bring it upstairs. But as yeah. far, which is like the easy part anyway. So easy. But as far as like the folding and putting away, um, I do that now. He, I have a system that I like, and when Corey tried it before, I was like, don't, don't do touch, that. don't <laughs> touch that, don't touch that. <laughs> and Shane will help me if I've already. He doesn't like folding it. <laughs> Um, and I don't like how he folds it. Yeah. He will put it away if I tell him where it goes okay. because he forgets where they go, even though they don't move. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Subtle he can shame. hear us because he's like, I hear him doing dishes upstairs right now. He's so helpful. <laughs> he really truly is. Anyway. Okay. Um, people assume men handle the finances, but this is as a woman and she does all of their taxes, retirement and savings. Amazing. Both of those stereotypes were correct. We're supposed to have retirement and savings right now? Yeah, I don't. (laughs) What? I just got off food stamps. Not me. (laughs) Um, I assume people who go to Catholic school are rich. Same. 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 But that's because you have to pay to go to Catholic school. And it's, yeah. But I do know people who aren't rich whose children go to Catholic school. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I I have always thought if you wear a uniform, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, you have money, you have money, <laughs> got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Mm. People think I'm cool um, and hipster because I'm a photographer. Oh, okay. I didn't write that, but. <laughs> People do think that about me as well. Because I think you guys are. There's like a level of creativity and like what happens, what goes on in your mind where you can style yourself the way that you would style shoots. And so that makes... Look how freaking cute you look right now. Um, this is just because I wanted, wanted to wear a blanket, essentially. But you are so good at just like making things... Look that's because I cool. don't care. That's what I think it is. I don't think. Yeah, you guys just. Don't, that's the coolest thing about cool people. They don't give a shit. <laughs> you can't be, be cool and care. It's because we decided to break a societal norm and not have a traditional job. We decided to work for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We decided to use our creativity and our minds to make money. And that is something I think people look at and are like, oh, wow, that's different. And what, that's the thing that's cool is that it's different. Yeah. So at least that's how I feel about it. Um, this one hits me being a stay at home mom. I'm uneducated or untalented at anything other than mothering. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is obviously not the case. Right. People look at, maybe people don't, but I have obviously encountered enough things in society, social media, whatever. You just take pictures of your friends in bathtubs. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Life is more than just taking pictures pretty pictures and and I talking mean, to your friends in bathtubs that by the Excuse way that me? was a comment that was used to discredit her when she had a very good point to make about something that was very important yeah and i think that people do that a lot like and mm-hmm. they did it with me when they would be like well i'm college educated i'm like well i know more about this topic than you do because yes. i read more like yeah. you can be college educated that's fine i still know more about this than right you. when were you educated in the 80s yeah. because shit's different now and i'm making a good point like at least hear my point out or look into it the fact right. that you're just completely like i'm smarter than you because school is well that same thing applies to i'm smarter than you because adult or parent or generation above you and that's not the case because i've had more life experience yes life experience oh my (laughs) that was aggressive (laughs) yeah life experience helps but it also is not that's what can't be all especially when your only experience is in a small town with zero diversity right um i feel like I feel like it's more of an internal struggle. He's coming back down. <laughs> oh, are you going to come join us? <laughs> okay. Cook likes making an appearance. Hi. Mosby, will you come here? Oh, he's a good boy. Lay down. Here. Oh, no, I've said too much. <laughs> here. Lay down. Sit. Okay. <laughs> he's like, hold my hand. I know. Um, I think that... <laughs> I'm so distracted by his licking. <laughs> Hi, honey. I think that I have consumed so much about what people think about stay-at-home moms or what a stay-at-home mom is meant to be. Mm -hmm. And because I don't identify as that, I don't identify as the person who wants to sit around and bake pies. Yeah, I did bake two. You bake a lot of cookies. I did make my own pizza dough this week and bake two batches of cookies. You bake a lot. Two different kinds. It's very exciting. is White Claw. (laughs) That's not for you. (laughs) Um, But... I have dreams and desires yes. and things outside of mothering. And you're talented. Mothering. And you're smart. Thank you. So are you. You're welcome. Thank you. I have all of these things outside of mothering and I feel guilty when I want to pursue them. And Mothers. I look at my kids and I'm like, I just, I love you so much. I give so much of myself to you, but there, I want to give some of me to me. Yeah. Mothers are more than just mothers. Right. Always. But there are people who will shame you if you don't want to be just a mother because that's such a valuable job it's so important yeah it's it is so important rewarding. but also rewarding being me is important yeah that's not that I, it is rewarding but i need other rewards right <laughs> sorry it doesn't it's okay if mothering doesn't fill your cup yes mothering does not fill my cup i love my children i love being able to stay home with my children but they do not fill my cup i want to make sure my cup is full for them yes they aren't the ones pouring into it. Yeah. So, and that's okay. Yeah. I, as I'm saying it, I feel like I, I'm going to be judged and no. people are going to be like, no, that's not true. Someone take her kids. Well, if they do, but, then congrats on being mother of the year. <laughs> Go off, Becca. <laughs> yeah. Um, people, this one, this is the one that got me. Um, people think my debilitating migraines are just headaches and that I'm dramatic. 
again, this person is me. Mm -hmm. When I had migraines, I'm sorry to take all of these people's names. I, I feel like I say this every time because I'm always like, but me. But mm -hmm. that's kind of what this fuck is. Well, we were going to share ours, but as I read through these, I'm like, we agree with so many of these yeah. that we don't need to add more. This is already going to be over an hour anyway. Yeah. But um, I started, I was on the, I had the Marina IUD after I had my son and I didn't realize that the hormonal like imbalances that I got from that and surges, they were causing me to have migraines monthly and they would be three day long migraines. I was hospitalized twice for these migraines because I was. Did you have seizures? I did have seizures. I don't mm -hmm. know if that was because of the migraines though, or that was a different thing. Mm. Um, but it could have been related. Not diabetes. at the same time. It was my diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, no, but I would get migraines so bad that I would not stop puking. And that's what made me have to go to the hospital because I was like so dehydrated yeah. from puking for three days straight. But they are blinding. They are debilitating. Mm -hmm. I literally would have to lay in a, in a room. You can't sleep because it hurts so bad with an ice pack on my head and just sit there and tears would stream out of my eyes because it would hurt so bad. I remember trigger warning to suicide, but I remember thinking if I had a gun in my house right now, I would I yeah. would end this. That's how bad they were. Yeah. I've never had thoughts like that with any other pain that I've been in. But that pain, I was like, I would do anything right now to get this to stop. Anything. Right. It's scary being yeah. in that much pain. Yeah. I I have had them. Um, they started when I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And it was like one of my first indicators that I was pregnant. And now they've just become a PMS symptom, which yeah. is horrible. Um, they make me feel nauseous. Mm -hmm. They make me feel, um, like I have vertigo, like everything is really tilted. Yes. Um, and then I have to, I have to sit in the dark, but like I have two small children, mm -hmm. so I can't just lay in the dark yep. with my head covered. Um, and we don't do a lot of screen time. And I know like, I'm, I feel like I need to preface that with saying like, if you do have screen time, like, do you, I right. don't, it, I don't feel any type of way about screen time. For my family and my children, they don't sleep well when they have screen time. They Their behavior, not, again, that I'm trying to control their behavior, but they have a lot of tantrums. And yeah. I know that having big emotions is not a fun thing. And yeah. so if TV is triggering these big emotions... We'll just take that away. Yeah, we're just not going to do it. And so we don't do it for reasons, um, for, I guess, like health benefits. Yeah. But... I have to utilize it when I'm having migraines because I need them to just sit in one place yep. while I can because I can't hold them. Mm -hmm. I cannot physically hold my children because I will fall over, pass out, throw up. Like I can't trust myself because I don't feel like I can control my limbs. I've had to have sick days for Noah, call it in because I'm like, I can't drive right now. Right. There's no way that I would be able to drive a car. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like a piece of crap. I have to sit him in front of a TV, but I'm I'm like Mo mommy can't <laughs> i just can't yeah. it's it's worse than i wouldn't wish migraines i would have 15 more children fully natural and never have a migraine again i can confirm that yeah mm -hmm. um i like how that one also connected to the one before because we feel like bad moms because we have migraines and we can't be some type of mom because we can't while we be have sick <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> like if mothers are sick you're a piece of shit. Why don't yeah. you just be healthy all the time? Why doesn't yeah. your brain just work? <laughs> Why don't you just eat healthy food? <gasps> you know, if you just ate spinach, your migraines would go away. If you just went on a walk. <laughs> just get you into just the sunshine. Fresh air. A little bit of sunshine. You, have you drank water? <laughs> have you tried drinking water? Um, okay. I butt chug water daily. <laughs> it does nothing for me. Um, this kind of goes along with... Um, the stay at home mom and like the working for yourself thing. It says people think I don't do anything all day because I work from home and they've been doing it for 12 years. So I am doing at home schooling mm -hmm. right now and love my boyfriend so much. He's amazing. <laughs> but he'll call me and be like, I don't know, say something. And I'm like, Oh, I have to go do the dishes. If we're going to do dinner. He's like, well, what did you do all the day? All day. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? all day? I did fucking school. Like, what yeah. are you talking about? The whole, Oh, all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. bud. All fucking day. Yeah. Sorry I wasn't on my fucking Zoom school meeting yeah. and also dusting. Like, 
Here's the thing. And then you want to come home. He'll come home and be like, I want to sit and relax, but then expect me to pick up the house after he gets home. And I'm like, I want to fucking relax. I did just as much as you did today. It's very hard to know that like, you can't separate your work and your home when you work from home. Mm -hmm. There is no clocking out. And even though I know people try to, they try and have like office hours, but for me, it is nearly impossible. And it's hard to turn off work mode when I'm constantly in my workspace. And my workspace and my home space are one thing, and it is hard to rest because everywhere I look, I am reminded like, oh my gosh, so-and-so sent me this email. Oh, oh my gosh, I have to get this editing out. I have to get this proposal done. It's It's so hard. Yeah. It's so hard. When you blend those two together, it's, it's, incredibly difficult i work more from i was a full-time teacher okay and we already said how much teachers do much work that was i do more work now partly because i like my job yeah (laughs) and i invest more time into it but i do more work now than i ever did as a teacher yeah i believe that because you know, I was teaching the same thing year after year, and you so don't, after a while, yeah, your lesson your first plans, year is yeah. rough. But like after that, you kind of have a routine of things. Yeah. And I used to keep a log of what I did every day, so that I could go back the next <laughs> year and be like, "So what I do on this day? Oh wow, that's what I'm gonna do. I love that." <laughs> um, I think this is the last one. I'm a hairdresser, so I must not have, so I must not have been good at anything or make any money, or because I look the way that I do, I don't deserve professionalism or good customer service. Wow, that one makes me sad. That does make me sad. I went to cosmetology. This person school. has um, like colored hair, like they frequently change the color of their hair, and it's not like a natural color, mm-hmm. and they have a lot of tattoos. Mm-hmm. I know who this person is. I think. Yeah. I'm f- <laughs> certain that you know who this person is but he said that um yeah the fact that this person i know for a fact is one of the like greatest nicest kindest sweetest most she's also giving very people intelligent. Was yes. she not, like i remember her in high school and she was very intelligent mm-hmm. so she started not- her own business her and her husband have their own salon the thing that's frustrating when you go to like an alternative school like that mm-hmm. like a trade school if you do cosmetology people assume that you're less educated and that is not the case that's an assumption that i had is if you went to a career center or a tech school or a trade school you weren't smart enough for college yep those people honestly but that's what was told to us yeah and they're kind of smarter because now they're not in debt and they're making great money oh yeah i learned that way too late yeah because mm-hmm. <laughs> i mean you could go to college and then get a degree and not do the thing that you got the degree for and then yeah <laughs> and then all of a sudden the person who you're still probably i don't know if you're still paying your school loans but yeah but i had a lot of scholarships and grants so yeah. mine is significantly i was gonna say but people. normal people normal people would still husband, be paying oh yeah oh yeah 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 <laughs> We're so and here he could have gone to just like a woodworking friggin' school and that hobby could have been turned into a job and then he could make so much money off yeah. that to be fair, he didn't know that he liked woodworking then. He didn't know until after we were married. But I didn't know a lot of things that I... That's the thing that I... I hate that we push children, because mm-hmm. they are children, even though they're turning 18, they are still children. Right. We push teenagers into picking the career that they think they're going to like when they're in their 30s. I'm, I'm not even close to the same person I was when I was right. in my teens. And... I can't imagine what I would have picked then being something that I would be happy and content doing now. That and was I, another reason I couldn't be a teacher forever. Yeah, I, I think was that's like, so sad that we do that. I remember sitting, I think it was like my third year of teaching. I was sitting at my desk and just staring off into space, contemplating like just buying a plane ticket and never returning. Mm-hmm. And I just thought, oh my God, this is it. What I'm doing right now, I will have to do every single day until I'm 65. 65. And then you feel that tightening in your chest and you're panicking and you're like, oh my God, That's this my whole is life. it. This is it. This is my life. I am every in my day forever. When I wake up, I'm going to do this, those lesson plans over and over. It's like freaking Groundhog's Day again. Yep. I had to get out. I Yeah, I don't blame you. That I feel no shame in picking what I want to do and going to school when I'm almost 30 because I can guarantee that when I'm in my 40s and I finally can do what I want to do and then I can retire when I'm in my 60s yeah. that I'll be fine with that that that'll be fine with me yeah you know I was thinking when we were down here um <laughs> Shane and I were putting up this background earlier <laughs> uh, this is the same papers that we used for our photo shoot uh and I was like 
I am almost 30 year old, 30 year old. I'm almost 30 year, years old. <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> and I am putting paper up in my basement mm -hmm. to record a podcast with mm -hmm. my cousin. <laughs> I'm an adult <laughs> and I'm aspiring to be a content creator right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And part of me would have felt stupid about that before mm -hmm. because I'm like, get a real job yeah but then i i thought about all the people that we've connected with all the people who have told us like hey i went to therapy because of you hey the i repaired a relationship we get, uh, and it makes it worth it or i look forward you guys feel like friends you've helped me get through quarantine you like i can't tell you this feel prior me would have thought this was stupid because i would have judged me for being like <laughs> What do hey. you? Yeah, this is like a little. Can you grow up? Yeah, <laughs> you're being an adolescent by doing this stuff. Um, maybe try and I don't know, get a real job, <laughs> go and do a nine to five, yeah. and then society will respect you. Yeah, but I just kept thinking how much I love my life mm -hmm. because I get to spend a Friday night with you doing this. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna make me cry. No. You can't do that to me. Sorry. I'm premenopausal too. <laughs> uh, I think that was all the uh No, but truly that's, assumptions. I would never have thought that um this could give me as much joy. I was freaking stoked all day today because of the new people we reached just in our little one minute TikTok. Mm-hmm. That were like, this was so funny. The fact that I made more people laugh today or like brought them some kind of joy and made, yeah. a, made somebody smile. That is such a friggin' the best thing. that Gift. I yeah. yeah. And you don't need a nine to five because guess who you're making smile? A rich asshole. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> you're making one rich asshole smile and you're I'm miserable. a literal asshole smiling and I just... <laughs> I wish we would have just ended on the sweet thing I said okay, instead I'm of whatever the hell you just said. I'm so sorry. I had to take it to butts one more time. One more time for the butts. It's our brand. All right. Well, um, that's the that on you judgmental people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye. <laughs>